Hello friends, today we'll be talking about microplastics. We've been hearing about bad effects of plastic since our childhood and how it has polluted our surroundings and now health. So let's talk about it. Plastics have always been an enemy to the environmental health and now it's official. Microplastics were found circulating in human blood for the first time. And this discovery shows that the particles can travel around the body and may get lodged within the organs. Virtually, no place on earth is free from the plastic polymer. Huge amounts of plastic waste are dumped in the environment and microplastics now contaminate the entire planet, from the summit of the Mount Everest to the deepest oceans. People were already known to consume the tiny particles via food and water as well as breathing them in and they have been found in the feces of babies and adults. Microplastic pollution has been detected in human blood for the first time with scientists finding these tiny particles in almost 80% of the people tested. The researchers in Amsterdam analyzed blood samples from 22 healthy adults and found the plastic particles were present in 17 of them. Two different methods were used for identifying the chemical makeup and masses of the particles. It is shown that half the samples contained polyethylene tetraphthalate or PET plastic, which is most commonly used in drink bottles, while one third of them contained polystyrene, which is used for packaging food in vehicle parts carpets and other products. A quarter of the blood samples contained polyethylene which is used in making widely the plastic bags. On average, 1.6 micrograms of plastic material were measured for every millimeter of blood, with the highest concentration being just over 7 micrograms. On one hand, there's still so much that we got to know. We yet don't know the chemical and physical effects of these tiny plastics nestled among our cells. The wide impact on our health is still not much known, but researchers are concerned as microplastics cause damage to the human cells in the laboratory and air pollution particles are already known to enter the body and cause millions of early deaths a year. Animal studies have given some concerning results about the presence of microplastic in the cells, but correlating it with human bodies is not quite relevant yet. Nonetheless, this problem is a growing one. With plastic waste entering our oceans set to double by 2040 according to the scientists. As all of these discarded shoes, forks, bread tags, steering wheels, and chocolate wrappers break up, a greater concentration of microplastics will gradually find its way into our bloodstream. What do these microplastics do to the human body? A recent study found that the microplastics can attach on the outer membrane of the red blood cells and may limit their ability to transport oxygen. These particles may also have been found in the placentas of pregnant women and in pregnant rats, they pass rapidly through the lungs into the hearts, brain and other vital organs of the fetuses. We still don't know that if the dose required enough to cross a line at some point where relatively harmless traces of styrene and polyethylene terephthalate could start to have some alarming effects on the way our cells grow especially during development of the human body. The further evidence states that the dust produced by our synthetic world isn't just completely filtered by our lungs and our gut. There's also the question of whether the plastics are free-floating in the plasma or have been gobbled up by the white blood cells. A lot more research will be needed on larger, more diverse groups to map just how and where the microplastics spread and accumulate in humans and how our body eventually discards them. That's it for today. I hope the video was informative to you all. If you haven't subscribed yet, 
subscribe to our youtube channel for more such news and updates till then made it made it for you